What's up, y'all? Let me see who on here. Not at all. What's up, Lauren? I see y'all on here. Not at all. I'm trying to see who on here first. Somebody said, thank you, love. I'm no longer a victim. I know that's right. I know that's fucking right. What's up? So listen, per usual, per motherfucking usual, that's a good majority of y'all ain't gonna like what I'm finna say. Per usual. Hey, Paris. Per usual. Class is definitely in session. Let me say this first, right? Y'all know it's about to be a new year. Somebody to my fucking talk. Don't I always? You know, that's always the number one rule. I don't know. Let me go ahead and get you up out of here. trying to see who on here. That's all I'm doing right now, y'all. That's it, that's it, that's it. Somebody tell me I need this motherfucking work. You can get it. I'm gonna say this first, though, right? Y'all know it's end of the year. Y'all know it's the end of the year. Right? This... I am getting them up out of here, but I'm going to say this, right? I be having to teach y'all real nigga etiquette. Like, and I'm saying this in a, you know, a endearing way. But I be having to teach y'all, male or female, I be having to teach y'all real nigga etiquette. Because y'all come on platforms like mine and you start talking out your head. And what I mean by that is most of y'all, you struggle to stay focused because you can't manage your thoughts. And I can see it because you come on here and you say all kind of retarded ass shit that don't be having nothing to do with what I'm talking about or what anybody else is commenting on or bringing up in regards to the actual topic of the live. So I'll be having to help y'all, help y'all selves by getting y'all the fuck up out of here or either just giving you a good read. And I ain't nothing wrong with a good straightening every now, every now and then, right? And I'm y'all, y'all know some of y'all have heard me say this, so that's why I'm saying y'all know. But you can't call yourself real if you can't take a straightening. And some of y'all be needing a good straightening about y'all etiquette. It's a lot of y'all you was raised in families where you know there's that intrusiveness where you say anything to anybody because anything has been said to you in regards to people's business and shit that don't have nothing to do with the conversation in the room so you struggle right to maintain real nigga etiquette and real nigga conversations and that's all we have on this page is real nigga conversations so coming on here saying all that weird shit that y'all be getting from y'all upbringing and stuff that you can't get right on i'm gonna teach you how to go about being on lives like this if that makes sense you want to you know just say all kind of random ass shit you want to type them long paragraphs where you make yourself a victim and try to insinuate or imply or say the opposite of what i'm trying to teach on my platform i will get your ass the fuck up out of there you can easily screen record a screenshot or go on your page with your two followers and talk about whatever you was gonna say but on this page we're only gonna advertise display talk about comment on fucking facts and stuff that's relevant to the conversation y'all clear on that the other thing is on my page, no 
personal feelings from being triggered about something that said matters more than the topic at hand. So whenever y'all get in y'all feelings about the stuff I be saying, you're better off going back to your page again with your two followers and typing whatever you want to type about your feelings because nobody on this page give a fuck. Me, nor the damn 400,000 people on this motherfucker that come to be educated on real nigga shit. Y'all up to speed. Just sometimes it has to happen because some of y'all, you, you know, you ain't in that real space yet. Exactly. And this is the other thing. Because I like that you said that. Somebody said, leave your feelings at the door. I'm going to say this. When I be talking about management of emotions and staying out your feelings, I'm not talking about not feeling. Some of y'all, you don't went into a space of insanity because you think that management of emotions or being emotionally intelligent or when you hear somebody like me say stay out of your feelings you think that means that we're telling you not to feel at all you can't do that you're a human being you're going to have emotions feelings moods energies temperaments here's where it gets grown can you manage yourself through them do you have the adequate skills the tools do you know how to tap into your inner Right into your subconscious mind, into your thoughts, into your life lessons, into your learnings from your upbringing and your programming and manage your motherfucking self. Are you able to, you know, get in reality while feeling and understand that everything does not revolve around how the fuck you feel? This is a word to some of y'all before I even give a word to some of y'all, because this is the reason why you can't find companionship. This is the reason why, like, we're coming up to the end of the year and it's been yet another year where you suck ass and big dicks at being able to just solidify something real with another human being. And then you've told yourself yet again for another year that you're choosing to be alone, but being alone goes against our nature. So when you tell yourself that you're only showing us that got some sense, that there is something mentally wrong with you because it goes against our nature, our biology, who we are as a species to not have companionship. I'm going to tell you, Therese, it ain't about putting them bitches to the side. It's not about putting your feelings to the side. It's about feeling and processing all of that shit and still behaving and managing yourself in an appropriate manner. This is what management of emotions is. This is what adulting looks like. There is when you were a child and then there is when you were an adult. There is thinking and believing that the world is fair and that things have to work out in your favor. And then there is being grown and knowing for a fact that things are not going to always work out in your favor, nor are they going to be fair. And that regardless of how I feel, I still have to continue to move forward and maintain healthy social relationships with people while pouring back into myself and having healthy boundaries and positive interactions with others. This is grown folks shit. That other shit is whatever y'all want to call it. It ain't real nigga shit. And this is, here go, go the other part is right? Because I like that too. Here go that thing about people not caring, right? I'm going to tell y'all something. In relationships, a bitch only be retaining about 10% of what be said when you get into conflict, right? And the 10% that they do retain, if they cannot manage their emotions, it's the 10% that appeals to however they feel. And when I say appeal, I don't mean positive. I mean positive, negative, uh, triggering, whatever. Whatever supports them feeling the way that they feel about what's going on, that's what the fuck they retain, right? And this is a word to some of y'all. This is why you in relationships or you're in a relationship and you realize, like, I expressed a lot of shit. I've said a lot. When we going back and forth or when we in uncomfortable conversation, but a motherfucker ain't really catch on or comment or respond back or react back to half of that, half of half of the shit I said, they just went with the stuff that supported however they felt that made me wrong, right? I'm saying this because this, this is when it will click that if you aren't aligned with the person that you dealing with me, y'all don't got no understanding about what y'all doing. They won't care about a lot of the shit. Because already a bitch only uh, attracted to 10% of what the fuck you got to say. And that 10% has to do with supporting them in they fucking craziness that got to do with their feelings. Now, when you mature, you able to hone in on the 10% that's solution based and is about working out whatever conflict y'all have it. But, you know, like somebody said, most people don't give a fuck enough about managing their emotions or, you know, the real nigga shit that I'm giving for them to realize Oh, she talking about me. I need to start working on that.
Y'all catch what I'm y'all picking up what I'm putting down. Yes, that is true. A lot of us are very fake as adults, but we believe we real because we're honest about how we feel. That's some shit to write down, right? We believe we real. We real ass people. I'm a real ass bitch. I'm a real ass nigga because I always keep it real about how I feel. But keeping it real about how you feel, it's not you being a real ass person, a real ass bitch or a real ass nigga. Can you take what you feel, process it against reality and then respond, talk, communicate, move forward, act, think, you know, deliver? Based on those two things coexisting, your feelings and reality. This is what I came on here to tell y'all, right? So we coming up on the end of the year. And from me to y'all, as we go into the new year, you know, y'all got those New Year's re resolutions and all that shit. One thing, one thing, right? From me to you, one thing, one thing, definitely. One thing, right? Work on your ability to focus. Work on your ability to focus on the shit that matter. Work on your ability to focus on the 20% out of the 100% of the shit that go on in your life that actually has to do with growth and forward progress. Work on focusing on the 20% out of your 100% of your goals that is actually going to create motion. Work on your ability to focus. In order to work on your ability to focus, you got to understand what the fuck are distractions, right? Because everything that comes up into focus is not meant for you to focus on. A lot of that shit is distractions. I'm going to give you the number one way, right? To refocus yourself and then move on getting disciplined with staying focused, right? Number one way. Tally the fuck up. Tally the fuck up. Y'all have heard me say this before. This is my saying. This is where you evaluate your life and you be real with yourself about how the fuck it looks. Because big facts, how your life looks is a reflection of your choices one to three years prior from your programming based on your upbringing or your previous life experiences. This go for everybody. How your life looks it's based on your choices one to three years prior to now and or your programming from your upbringing or your previous life experiences, right? So when you tally up, you gotta be honest with yourself. So now let's talk about the honest part, right? I help some of y'all cause some of y'all don't like to be honest, right? Real nigga shit. A lot of y'all are unpleasant. It's a struggle to focus because your unpleasantness attracts fucked up ass people because you being unpleasant right it's on the same frequency and same wavelength as other people that don't have boundaries don't have a sound sense of self-worth that's why they stick around your unpleasant ass your social skills your ability to set aside your emotions, your ability to process things logically and rationally, your ability to understand that everything is not going to be fair, that you'll be used and that there will be times where you have to use other people. That mindset of I'm going to do everything by myself has you in a space where you don't value social interaction a good majority of the time or that I don't give a fuck attitude has you in a space where you will walk away from things that you could have worked on and that would have worked for you. All of this stuff is a part of what you need to be honest about in regards to your character and your personality. Yeah, you go to work. Yeah, you pay bills. Yeah, you take care of the kids that you laid down and fucked and made the decision to have. Those things don't make you a pleasant person. Paying the bills that you ran up, taking care of the children that you opened your legs and laid down and fucked and had. Handling the problems and the situations that come up based on your choices does not make you a pleasant person. So in regards to what you attract, it has everything to do with this, right? There are plenty of people that are fucked up character-wise in regards to social skills, emotional management, in regards to being able to coexist with them in friendships and relationships that pay their fucking rent every month. 
or pay their mortgage every month or pay their light bill or buy their kids them Jordans or the damn PS5. There are a lot of people that do those things, but it is hard for anybody healthy to coexist with them. Y'all catch my drift, right? Everybody clear on that part. You getting money don't make you real. It don't make you a stand-up person. You handling your responsibilities that you fucked and created does not make you a pleasant person. In fact, there are a lot of us that as soon as our children became a certain age, they couldn't wait to get the fuck away from us because what we thought we were, what we neglected to be honest with ourselves about, they know very well. Hence the reason why a lot of y'all got the fuck out y'all parents' house prematurely. A lot of y'all parents knew that they weren't good at social interaction. All they could do was boss you to fuck around and control you. And the minute that they could not do that, they told your ass to get the fuck out with that old school saying, my house, my rules. Because anything that does not comply under their control or their rules, they can't fuck with it. Hence the reason why a lot of y'all, your mama been by herself all her life and gonna be by herself for the rest of her life. It's the reason why a lot of y'all, your daddy been by himself and gonna be by himself all his fucking life. You gotta tally the fuck up. You gotta be honest about your character, your ways, your mouth, your attitude, your reasoning, your ability to resolve conflict, compromise. These are the things that are assets in regards to relationships that y'all motherfuckers don't have. You got designer, but you don't have no conflict resolution skills. You got nice wigs and makeup, but baby, you can't manage your emotions. Nigga, you got a nice foreign vehicle, but bruh, you don't know how to lead from a space of honoring your own word that you put out before what a bitch told you y'all be thinking that the material stuff is the tally up no the tally up has to do with your character how you think how do you come up with this shit that you think is appropriate to say and do how right how do you come up with your reasoning for continuing certain habitual behaviors that you can see didn't work all that well for your ancestors helping y'all tally up so you can be better at staying focused, right? Everybody keeping up so far? Cause I'm looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. We talking about tallying the fuck up. Then there is that space of, cause we got being honest about your character, your ways, your personality. A lot of y'all unpleasant. A lot of y'all niggas, you acting like bitches. And I already done told y'all the rooted reason why you want to deny it so bad, but it's so obvious. A lot of y'all females, you and your masculine, no man is coming over there to lead and do none of that shit that you keep talking about in your manifestations and you put on them vision boards. He's not coming till you fix your character. That woman you want, bro, she don't want you until you fix your fucking character. You won't even attract that. The women like that aren't even on the same frequency as you. No one wants a nigga that acts like they great grandma, right? Nobody wants that. A man that is in his fucking feelings just as much as you are as the female. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants a woman that is in this masculine, I'm independent, I do everything by myself. I don't need a man for nothing while trying to lead on in the public eye that you need a man. But behind closed doors, you're unpleasant and nowhere near being any sort of peace. Nobody wants that. So you can keep paying them bills, buying all that shit. You're going to grow old alone. And I know you tell yourself that that's fine. You're okay with that. But I understand our biology. That doesn't even match. That's why when you put people in solitary confinement, it fucks them up mentally. Because being alone is not healthy. No matter how much you hoes and niggas keep telling yourself every year that you're better off by yourself. You're not. That's not how we're wired. Why do you think they use isolation as punishment? If it was positive, they wouldn't give it to us when we break laws or fuck up while behind bars. Okay, now that we're over that hump, right? The next part of it is go see about your traumas. Seeing about your traumas will help you be able to focus better as we come into the new year. There are a lot of y'all, you've been molested, you've been lied to for years in your upbringing by the people that were supposed to take care of you. You've been let down. You have not been given unconditional love as a child. Everything came with conditions. You were made to feel inadequate. There are some things that that inner child that's in all of us that is still hanging on to that you need to go see about all y'all walk around and act like you're not affected by you know your father not being around but it has been statistically scientifically psychologically proven that fatherlessness does a number on your psyche 
So male or female, tell yourself whatever the fuck you want. Those of us that got a brain cell, we know different. It shows up in your personality. It shows up in your character. It shows up in your choices and it shows up in how and why you're triggered. Go see about your fucking traumas. If you got violated as a child, sexually, physically, emotionally, mentally, you owe some time in front of a confidential private source to sit and see about that child that somebody never sought about. It's some of y'all in y'all adult life, you done been through domestic violence, you done been robbed, you done had all kind of crazy ass violent shit go on. Some of y'all, you just been fucked over mentally. You've been in relationships with narcissists, you've been raised by an emotionally immature parent, you've been in a space where during your upbringing, you've been invalidated so much with the way that you think that you got trauma all in you. All ain't gotta be on you. Meaning you don't have to look like what you went through to still have that shit heavily affecting you. Y'all got to understand, makeup covers up vanity blemishes. It does not cover up soul trauma. It does not cover up psychological shit. It does not cover up mental health issues. All that designer and shit can boost confidence and boost motivation. Being in a nice car can inspire and motivate. Having certain amounts of money in your bank account or a credit score that's a certain amount, it can give you a certain oomph about moving forward with a new day. But what it will not do is heal that fuck shit that's going on in your core. Them fucked up beliefs that stuff that's ailing your gut, that shit that has you anxious, that stuff that is a problem when you sit by yourself, when the lights is off and the TV is off and that phone put up, that stuff that eats your ass up to have you arguing about certain subjects all the time, that shit that have you on edge, that stuff that make you get on the internet and type paragraphs under people posts and shit that don't have nothing to do with you personally. Those things, there is no amount of money, there is no designer, there is no good fuck with a bitch with a fat ass that's gonna fix this shit. Go See about yourself. This is why you focus to to uh this is why you struggle, excuse me, to focus on the shit that's going to really level you up. And some of y'all, you need a mentor, you need a life coach, you need someone that is going to help keep you on the right, right track. Some of y'all need that. Shout out to the people that's in my mentorship program because y'all doing big shit with organizing y'all life. Y'all doing big shit with being able to organize y'all life with somebody like me pushing y'all to do it. Y'all doing big shit by being able to take me holding you accountable for the stuff that you said you wanted for yourself. Some of y'all, that's all you missing. See, y'all don't realize, and this is what I talk about in my mentorship program, y'all don't realize that you're at your capacity based on your mental abilities right now. In order to raise the ceiling and break through and level up to that next version of you, you need people, places, and things, resources outside of you that can see the same environment from a different perspective than you do and push you to change your habitual behavior. It does not change on its own. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Baby, it costs money to get in my mentorship program. So if your coin not right, do not DM me about getting in nothing that I got going on. I don't spare at all in regards to pouring my information into you. I don't spare holding you accountable to the point where I demand you demand results out of yourself. And baby, that's not free. One thing about it, when you come on Love Dorsey platform, I'm well aware of my worth. I get on here and kick the bobo with you. I tell a few jokes. I ain't going to never tell you no lies. And I'm never going to let anything outside of me, right? Receive more out of me than what I'm willing to give away for the free. Definitely coin. Definitely coin. See about them traumas. See about them fucking traumas. Tally the fuck up. This is going to help y'all be able to focus in this new coming year. The other thing is, and I'm going to tell y'all this. You have to be honest with yourself about what? In your life, who in your life, things, I want y'all really listen to me. What, who, and the things in your life that bring down the value in being with you. You have to be honest with yourself about this shit. The reason why is because if you do not, if you are not honest with yourself, about the things in your life that are not valuable, right? You will be out here thinking that people are doing something to you or treating you a certain kind of way and you'll be defending yourself and crime victim to where you can't get focused. And it's all because you're not being real. Some of y'all, you don't understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to break it down. 
there are a lot of y'all that you knew before you had children that you was po, po minded and fucked up. Not because you necessarily chose to be. There are a lot of y'all, you knew this looking back at the family you was raised in. You knew your mama ain't had no money. You knew your daddy wasn't around or didn't have no money. You knew there was no real resources or stable foundation for you to really jumpstart and really thrive in life early on. Knowing this and all, you sat your ass up and you had two, three, four kids. Right? You chose this. And so now you're faced with accepting the reality that if you don't level yourself up in certain key areas, your life it's not an asset for anybody to mix theirs with. Your life is not something that's attractive to say, oh, I want to go and connect and start mixing my responsibility with his or hers. There are a lot of y'all. You've sat and you fucked over a lot of opportunities to the point where for your age, the stuff that you have going on that's productive is scarce. Few and far between, between, not much productive shit going on at all. You have to be honest that you are not some top-notch catch for a person right now. And I already know y'all going to say that y'all don't care because that's y'all favorite thing. I don't give a fuck. But when you're on a platform like mine, I know that sir or ma'am, in fact, you do give a fuck. Saying you don't give a fuck is just a coping mechanism for you to be able to not, right? Go into an angry or triggered space. That's what y'all tell y'all self when you know that some shit is true, but you know that you're not disciplined enough or you don't have the tools or the resources to fix it. So your favorite thing to highlight is I don't care or I don't give a fuck. But in fact, ma'am, you do. In fact, sir, you do. I'm just offering y'all that honesty that you need to have with yourself. Some of y'all, you set your ass up. You've smoked, you've fucked, you've ran the streets and been outside and clubbed and drugged and all the things of the world in the flesh. You've done it to the point where it has fucked your health up. Please understand, nobody's lining up to mix their life with somebody that has already fucked themselves up health-wise. You have to go organize yourself to a certain level, health problems and all, before you can walk around with this attitude that I'm going to attract or I'm going to find me somebody or I'm going to be in a relationship with somebody that matches what I'm looking for. And remember, you're not fooling nobody on this page with that whole, well, I'm fine with my health issues and being by myself. Because again, biologically, as human beings, our species is wired for companionship. Like I said earlier, this is exactly why they use isolation, throwing you in a hole, putting you somewhere by yourself as punishment because it negatively affects our mental. So miss me with all that fake ass shit, right? Sooner y'all are honest about these type of things, the better. Some of y'all, you have not been raising your children worth a damn. You've been allowing tablets and electronics to do so. Them kids is bad. They're bad. I don't give a fuck what you try to get on here and dress it up as. They're bad, not because as children they just chose to be, but because you've been sucking ass as a parent, right? You've been doing what the old folks be saying was the best that you can. I'm here to tell you it's not good enough. You need to pay some more attention to the children in ways that support their little mental health, their emotional management, their capacity to be a pleasant person, Truth be told, if we talk parenting, by the age of five, you should have your child to a certain level where they are socially acceptable. Not perfect, but socially acceptable because you cannot thrive, right? You cannot get past survival in this world without having the skills to maintain relationships. If you look about the world, it actually requires you to interact with people, to do things like work, um, be a part of a community, live in a neighborhood or an area. And again, you can try to say that it does not, but it goes against our biology. There are, I don't give a fuck, as you can see. There are a lot of y'all, them fuckers are bad. They're bad because of you. 
Not because they chose to. Y'all put them tablets and shit in front of them kids' faces. Y'all leave them in the rooms to raise they self while y'all off worrying about shit. This is why you got to fix and see about your traumas. This is why your ass got to be honest with yourself about you fucking and having kids while you're poor, fucked up, no resources from niggas and bitches that ain't got no sense they damn self. You got to tally the fuck up and be honest about how your life look and that you're not a catch right now and go get your shit right. You can't do this by faking and pretending and acting like we don't see what the fuck we see. You know them kids unruly. Your ass damn near unruly. And you get triggered every time somebody bring it up. This is why the teachers nowadays be on the internet talking about how y'all kids are hard to fucking teach. Just all over the place. You need to do better. There are parenting books. There is no shame in taking parenting classes. There is no shame in being honest that for years I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. There is no shame in being honest that where my kids are at at this point, I can tell I've done some things wrong. Man, I don't even know exactly what I'm doing wrong, but God damn it, I need help. I need, you know, more input, a different perspective on how to reroute the direction that they fucking going in. The other thing is you got to be honest that nobody is lined up to be in no fucking long-term shit with nobody with no hard head, bad ass, unruly, undisciplined ass, can't talk to them and tell them nothing ass children. And, and I know, I know, especially y'all as single mothers, you're going to say you don't give a fuck. It's just you and your kids. We understand it. That's what you have to tell yourself to be able to cope with knowing that your trash ass parenting is producing a trash ass result that's going right into the lane of the same old trash ass statistics that keep coming up about our people. Just let that settle. And I definitely don't give a fuck. Y'all, that you too far because you got shit going on in your life as the co-parenting. There are y'all that there is no good man that is looking or looking or will stand a empty line to be with you while you're on the internet arguing and fussing about another. I don't know if the people in y'all families aren't really enough to tell y'all this. I don't know if your homegirl or if your homegirls, you know, aren't willing to be honest in your friend group. I don't know if you don't got no real niggas or you are missing your father. But there is no good man lined up to wife no woman that every time you look around, she's emotional or mad about another nigga. And I understand that you may have very good reason to be mad at this other nigga. I understand there's a lot of niggas not pulling their weight in regards to co-parenting. But there is no nigga. There is no good man. There is no grown man that is waiting to lay claim to a woman that is out in public or in the open beefing, bitching, crying, moaning, whining, justifying, carrying on with another nigga. Nigga might even fuck with you. Real nigga might even pull up on you. If you got shit going on with other females. Nigga might see past, overlook, not worry about. You got some shit going on with some girls you done fell out with. There is no grown man. Right? I'm going to wait till y'all say I'm not breaking up no more. Just wait. Okay, I'm gonna start over. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Megan Stegen, aka the Hot Girl Coach. And, bitch, I had my friends and a little bit of my cousins over here for Christmas, bitch. And you know what time was had because we were singing Beyonce to the top of our lungs. But actually, right here, they were singing Carrie Underwood. So, bitch, hopefully, y'all niggas think next time before y'all cheat. So, anyway, this is my best friend, Kelly, from high school. And this whole love shotgun and beers. So, she was trying to teach everybody how to shotgun a motherfucking beer. Kelly and all.
and I'm going to finish what I was saying because this is the third part of what's stopping a lot of y'all from being able to focus. And this is just a piece of that third part. This is just a piece of that third part about being honest with yourself about the shit in your life that is not an asset, that is not attractive for somebody to mix with. So there is my advice to y'all for the new year is work on your ability to be able to focus on this shit that is important. The stuff that is necessary for growth and forward progress, right? And I told y'all, you got to go see about them traumas or you're going to be unable to focus in the necessary manner to level your life the fuck up. Be honest with yourself about your fucking character, your ways, your personality, right? Because bill paying and taking care of your kids, buying them them Jordans and shit like that, keeping their clothing clean and a roof over their head does not make you a pleasant person. It's that other shit I was talking about. This third category is being honest with yourself about rather your life and the state it's currently in is an actual asset for somebody else to mix with or even a fair starting ground. Meaning goes into situations that it just looks like from jump based on the odds of all odds that we're going to mix together and lose right so with that being said what I was saying is a lot of y'all I don't know if you don't got real bitches in your family I don't know if you don't have you know real men in your, your, your life to tell you this and it goes both ways but starting with women there is no man None that is a good man, that is a mature man, that is somebody that is going to be about business, that is lined up in a line with nobody in it, meaning he's the only one, the first one guaranteed to get the spot. There is no nigga lined up to turn in with a bitch that is out, no nigga worth having, that is lined up to involve themselves seriously, because they will fuck, but take you seriously, there is no nigga that is a good productive man that is lined up to be with a bitch that is out beefing and feeling some type of way about another nigga. There is none. I don't know if, if the people in y'all circle don't want to tell y'all this. Bros, I don't know if you was raised without your father around, but ain't nobody trying to mix or check for these hoes that is every other week Every other month beefing about their baby daddy online feeling selling out posting worried about and i ain't even saying they don't have reason to be i'm telling y'all the truth about attraction in regards to healthy relationships and people that got some fucking sense no nigga with some sense is gonna go say i want her the one that every time you look at her Facebook, she has these paragraphs written about her baby daddy. The one that every time you look up, her and her baby daddy are exposing each other about certain stuff. Oh, give me the bitch over there that she always crying in her feelings at the family cookouts, venting about what another nigga did in regards to some kids she had with him. Give me the woman. Let me get down on one knee. Marry me to the female that is sitting up emotional five, six, seven times throughout the year over another man. Some of y'all, as this year come to an end, consider what the fuck you got going on. And this is why you attract what you attract and your life look the way it look. You allowed to have your problems. You allowed to have things you upset by. But there is no man with some fucking sense, right? On this fucking planet that willingly just I'm going to lay down and lock in with her the one that is arguing and bitching about another nigga the one that is crying and selling out and fighting and going back and forth with these kids about another man bros know that bitch belong to that other nigga even though she say she don't want her baby daddy, even though she say she don't like her baby daddy, even though she say she don't want no dealings with her baby daddy, even though he say he don't want no dealings with her, even though we all know they probably will never get back together, that bitch mentally belongs to another nigga. Any young niggas on here, the soak up game, bro, ain't no real nigga lined up 
to be doing life with no bitch that she gets as emotional about the next man as she would about you. I ain't even saying she love that nigga. I'm saying mentally, psychologically, there is a big chunk of her mind that belongs to that situation with that nigga. So, bro, she could never be yours. A lot of y'all niggas, y'all sitting up in these relationships and you need to tally the fuck up for the new year being honest with yourself. You going day to day when really you need to look at yourself, not her. Because you've listened to what I'm saying. You need to evaluate yourself. Listen to what I'm saying. There is no man with some sense that is sitting up with a bitch that is going on and on in feuds and a drug out custody shit and internet beefs over another man. There is no nigga with some sense that is sitting up with a bitch like that. None. So that means, guess what? You that nigga with no sense if you sitting up doing that. See, you thought I was talking about the girl. I'm talking about your ass. This shit go both ways. You ain't got no sense. And then later on, you have the moments or you start bitching about how she ain't submissive or how you're not able to lead or how she's missing certain feminine, feminine energy in the relationship. Like, you got to be honest, as a man, grown women that are available to you guys, that have children, they have a space of maturity with their co-parenting, even if the nigga is inadequate as a father. When a woman is done with a nigga, we don't do all that extra. Grown women that are single mothers, that are moving forward, and that are available and are of value in regards to relationships, they don't do all that carrying on excess emotion about another nigga, not even a baby daddy. Those women are concerned with the safety, the growth and the forward progress of themselves and their children. Anything other than that, my G, she's not available. She belongs to another nigga, even though you getting that pussy. And if that's all you trying to do, keep getting it, my G. But anything outside of that, you fooling yourself. You the nigga I'm talking about with no sense. These are the kind of things that keep y'all from being unfocused because this causes chaos. It causes confusion because all while she verbally telling you and you verbally telling her and y'all playing house like y'all together, this bitch belong to another nigga, i.e. the reason why she dragging out everything with another nigga with them kids, i.e. the reason why it don't take nothing for her to get emotional and angry and in her feelings and triggered by this nigga. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? And it goes both ways because, ladies, when you meet a nigga that has already made children with another woman, and when things come up in that situation in regards to those kids, he act crazy as all outdoors emotionally. His energy and mood is thrown the fuck off, and the stuff don't have nothing to do with the safety or the well-being of those fucking children. That man is not available. Tell y'all sales whatever you want to tell yourself. Take all the Facebook pictures and Instagram pictures you want in them pajamas for the holidays. That bitch don't belong to you. You can hit it 75 ways till Sunday. Mentally, my G, your bitch belong to her baby daddy. And they ain't never got to get back together for that to be a problem. Sir, you belong to your baby mother. The way that the majority of your upsets come outside of things with the actual children, but just things that she said or stuff that she did. My G, mentally, there's a big chunk of your mind that belongs to that bitch. These are the kind of things no one's lined up to mix their life with. Y'all don't like to hear this stuff, but this is the truth. There is no good man. There is no man that has done well for himself in life. Looking for a bitch that publicly, privately, in the family circle is always in her feelings, in a beef, in a fight, in a battle, in a war with her baby daddy. There is no woman that has her shit together that is ready to be submissive and be a space of peace and build a family. There is no woman like this that is mature, that is lined up to be running around with a nigga that his energy thrown off with his fucking baby mama or about his baby mama every other motherfucking week. 
It just ain't going on. Some of y'all, you might need some therapy after this. You're welcome to text the number in my bio, 678-965-0698. I can start with helping you get some help. Some of y'all, just take what I'm saying for face value and go apply it to your life. It worked. I don't get on here and talk no bullshit. It's real shit only. Three areas to be honest with yourself about and go work on for this new year. Go see about your fucking traumas. Go be honest with yourself about your character. A lot of y'all are not pleasant people. Your social skills are not up to par to maintain relationships with healthy people. You can keep a relationship with a puss ass bitch or a backstabbing asshole or a trifling ass nigga. You can keep those relationships very well because the lack of boundaries, the lack of understanding of self, all of those things support mixing with those type of people. But relationships with healthy people, finding people that's not using you, you know, interjecting, causing more trauma in the areas that are supposed to be safe spaces in your life, you struggle to do that. Go see about that. The other thing is tally the fuck up with that, but also be honest with yourself about rather your life and somebody mixing your life with their life would be an asset or a liability to their life. And they walking into much more problems than what they already got, right? Be honest with yourself about this shit. This will help you clean up and be more focused for the new year on the right shit. From me to y'all. Breathe and receive it in. Some of y'all might be triggered. Y'all know I don't give a damn. Don't inbox me them long paragraphs because I give no fucks. You're not exempt to what I'm saying. Exactly. They can keep a relationship with a cat. A dog. Somebody they can. Or something they can boss around. But to coexist with somebody healthy that has boundaries, that it's give or take, that everything's not going to work in your favor and it doesn't revolve around only your feelings, coexisting and creating a safe space or a house that is positive for the children, the fucking dog, you and the spouse. This is where y'all struggle. It gets hard. It gets fucking hard. You're very welcome. It's always my pleasure to come on here and lace y'all up with some game. Y'all make sure y'all be ready. My single drop this Friday, tell it the right way. And then January 5th, my whole album drops. So for those of y'all that support um, in regards to my music, I fuck with y'all, be ready to stream. Y'all know my shit always be there. Same way as lessons to be learned and a word that's given on these lives, it's all up and through them songs, baby. It's all up and through there.